here, and I'm going to show you how to do a sit-up. So you're going to go ahead and start on the floor, sit all the way down, and you're going to lay all the way back. And a proper sit-up, you're going to have your hands crossed across your chest, and you can stick your feet under a couch or, or have somebody hold them, whatever works for you. And you're going to have your hands on your chest, and you're just sit up using your ab muscles to bring you in. So the typical sit-up looks just like this, okay? Now, I know a lot of you will be like, are you kidding me? I can't do a sit-up. So with this exercise, usually I do not allow momentum, but on this one I do because your abs are being trained as you use momentum, teaching your body to go up into that motion. So you are still using your muscles. However, I want you to quickly you know, start crossing your arms across your chest. So with momentum, your hands will come back behind you and come straight in front of you. Back behind you. It's almost like your hands are guiding you. You can also hold a weight. Believe it or not, having a weight makes it a little easier because it kind of pulls you forward. So as you come back, your weight helps guide you forward. Only on when you're using momentum. If you have your weight right here, it's a lot tougher. So those are steps. Now, other people will complain again that you know if they have lower back problems that sit-ups just don't work for their back, which is totally fine. <laughs> then you'll just give me crunches. Both feet on the floor, legs bent, hands behind your head, nice and open chest. Now when you're crunching. I want you focusing on the ceiling and pulling like a string is pulling your chest up. Up. You're not going like this with your neck. You don't need to do a fake whip, whiplash here. It's just nice and controlled down and up. Really contracting those abs as you come up. So that is how you do sit ups, and those are the modifications. Trust me, once sit-ups become a part of your routine, they'll get easier and you'll love them. Right now, you might not like them so much, but they do get easier as you practice them. But what doesn't get easier as you practice them? And that's when I see it's too easy. I'm be like, here, here's your weight. Oh, here, let me be your resistance. So you've always got to make it hard for you. As soon as something gets too easy, step it up.